In this experiment, we're going to uh, show you a, I guess what we would call a dual RIT direct conversion receiver. <clears throat> Down here on the bottom is a Tentec uh, kit. I think it was a 1056. You could make it for any band a direct conversion receiver. Um, it's a very simple receiver. Uh, going to the input, I have a uh, little L-Craft generator that's generating 7040 kilohertz. And uh, we're feeding it in here with an N3 uh, ZI DDS VFO kit that I built. And um, so what we've done is set the IF on the, the VFO for an offset of 750 Hertz and then we set the RIT for an offset of minus 1500 Hertz so when we're on one side of the signal we're going to have an offset and a display of 7040 and a tone of 750 Hertz then when we're on the other side of zero we can we can uh, flip the RIT and basically get the same thing. But the idea with this is to um, put us on the sideband that has the least amount of interference. So for a demonstration, uh, we'll turn the generator on. Turn the volume up a little bit here. And you can see we're picking up 7040. We're receiving that uh, at a 750 hertz pitch. And if we go to the other side of zero beat, of course we'll hear that too. Now let's go back to 7040 and we're going to key the RIT and you can tell it's exactly the same pitch maybe a cycle or two off I can make it more by doing this okay so now what we're going to do is hook up an antenna to the receiver so we got this guy here now we can flip the RIT Should be the same pitch if we have him tuned in correctly. There you go. You'll notice the interference changes on uh, depending on which side of the sideband you're on. So let me turn off the audio filter because that's kind of helping some. Uh, somebody. filter so on this side band we have a lot of interference on this side
virtually nothing. One side. The other side. So this allows us to get a lot more out of our direct conversion receivers by having selectable sidebands. Uh, again, we program the VFO for a, an IF of 750 or 600 or whatever your favorite pitch is. Just keep in mind that the higher you make it, the farther away the interfering signal is going to be when you change sidebands. So it's just a matter of how much you can tolerate as far as pitch goes. I like a lower pitch, but uh, 750 works pretty well. So there you go. Thanks for watching.